Now let us talk about time data type. So time data type is basically used to store a time into a apex variable or into an apex variable. So here is a simple declaration of a time variable. And if you want to assign any value or any time to this variable, then we can use time dot new instance method, which is of time data type. And with this, we can uh, like, again, this time dot new instance is taking four parameters. First hours, second minutes, third seconds and fourth is milliseconds. So we can assign this value or this time to this t1 variable with the help of time dot new instance and then the argument. So what, what are we assigning over here? So it's 15, 44 minutes, yeah, 15 hours, uh, 15 hours, 44 minutes, 45 seconds and 50 milliseconds, something like that. And if we'll add, okay, so now again, with time data type as well, we are using different, different uh, methods which are available in Apex. So there is t1.add hours2. So what it is doing is, it is adding two hours into this particular time. So this makes it 17 hours, 44 minutes, 45 seconds and 50 seconds. That's how it's basic. it basically works. And same is with the add minutes. And we have add seconds, add milliseconds. And there are a bunch of other methods as well, which we can use with time data type. Now let's talk about a data type in which we can store both date as well as time, which is called as date time. So if you want to store date as well as the time, uh, which we generally store most of the time, like when this record was created, when this record was modified. In these cases, we store the information into a date time variable or a date time data types variable. So if you want to store it, then use the date time, date time. It is both concatenated. So date time data type with a variable. So this is how we're going to use it, date time dt1. And if you want to assign a value to it, then again, there is a new instance method with date time uh, data type which is which basically creates a date time value and assign it assigns it to the uh, date time variable so this is how it works so date time dot new instance and over here there are six arguments that i am passing number one argument is year number two month number three day number fourth hours number fifth minutes number six seconds so we have all all the things into one and we can just simply assign this value to this to this date time variable and uh, again there are a bunch of other methods with date time variable as well uh, date time data type as well uh, but over here there is a simple example of one common method which we generally use most of the time which is date time dot now so like date time dot today returns current date right so this is this date time uh, or sorry date dot today returns current date and date time dot now returns current date as well as the current time into a date time data types variable 